Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm a sewing tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to master basic machine stitches. Let's get started. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Hobbycraft and click the bell icon for notification of future videos. First, thread your machine. Place your fabric under your machine foot with the needle in the up position. Make sure the machine setting is on a straight stitch. On this machine, it's setting A on the dial. The next setting is your stitch length. An average length for a straight stitch for most projects is 2.5 millimeters. So make sure your stitch length dial is in between the two and the three. Put your foot on the pedal and you'll start to sew a running stitch. Use the seam allowance guides on your needle plate to help you create a straight line. Watch the raw edge of your fabric on your chosen line instead of watching your needle. Place your fabric under your machine foot with the needle in the up position. Make sure the machine setting is on a straight stitch. On this machine, it's setting A on the dial. The next setting is your stitch length. You want a large running stitch, so make sure the length dial is on the highest setting. Put your foot on the pedal and you'll start to sew a large running stitch, which is easy to unpick when trying out projects. You will have to go over these stitches with smaller running stitches afterwards. Place your fabric under your machine foot with the needle in the up position. Whichever stitch setting you are on, do a few stitches forwards. Then hold down the back stitch lever whilst also using the foot pedal. The lever is always labelled with a U-shaped arrow. The machine will start to sew backwards. You want the same number of stitches back as you stitched forwards at the start. Let go of the back stitch lever and continue sewing forwards until you finish sewing. Repeat the back stitch when you finish sewing. Remember, you only need a few stitches forwards and backwards. Your machine should have a setting to change the width of the zigzag stitch. On this machine, it's on the main dowel on the front. Place your fabric under your machine foot with the needle in the up position. Make sure the machine setting is on a zigzag stitch. On this machine, it's setting C on the dial. Make sure it's in the widest possible zigzag stitch. The next setting is your stitch length. You can choose how far apart your zigzag stitches are. We put ours on number two on the stitch length dial, which means our stitches will be two millimeters apart. You can make them smaller if you need to. Put your foot on the pedal and you will start to sew a zigzag stitch. Here you can see three different stitch widths. Go to hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop, find your next project or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. We'd love to read your comments and join us for more videos soon.